Quantitative reasoning is the ability to use mathematical and statistical methods to analyse numerical data, identify patterns and make logical decisions. It involves skills such as interpreting graphs, calculating percentages, understanding probabilities and using formulas to solve problems. Unlike basic arithmetic, which focuses on simple calculations, quantitative reasoning requires applying mathematical concepts to real-world situations, such as comparing prices, analysing survey results, or predicting outcomes based on data trends. This type of reasoning is widely used in science, business, economics, and everyday decision-making, helping individuals make informed choices based on measurable evidence. Quantitative reasoning is applied in many different fields and situations. For example, scientists use it to analyse experimental data, measure growth rates, and determine the effectiveness of new medicines. In business, companies rely on quantitative reasoning to track sales trends, calculate profits, and assess market demand. Everyday activities like comparing interest rates on loans, budgeting expenses, and interpreting weather forecasts also require quantitative reasoning. Even in sports, analysts use statistics to evaluate player performance and predict game outcomes. These examples show how numerical data and logical thinking play a role in both professional and personal decision-making. One major benefit of quantitative reasoning is its ability to provide objective and accurate results. By relying on numerical data, it reduces the chances of errors caused by personal opinions or biases. Another benefit is its usefulness in problem solving, as it helps individuals make data-driven decisions in fields like engineering, finance and medicine. Additionally, quantitative reasoning improves critical thinking skills by requiring individuals to analyse complex information, recognise trends and draw logical conclusions. This skill is valuable in both academic settings and the workplace, as it enables people to evaluate information systematically and make well-informed choices. Despite its advantages, quantitative reasoning has some limitations. One weakness is that it may oversimplify complex issues by focusing only on numerical data while ignoring important non-measurable factors, such as emotions or ethical considerations. Another weakness is that it requires a certain level of mathematical knowledge, which can be challenging for individuals who struggle with numbers or statistics. Additionally, misinterpretation of data is a common issue, as numbers can be manipulated or taken out of context leading to misleading conclusions. These weaknesses highlight the importance of using quantitative reasoning alongside other forms of analysis to gain a complete understanding of a situation. Quantitative reasoning is often contrasted with qualitative reasoning, which focuses on non-numerical information such as observations, opinions and descriptions. While quantitative reasoning relies on measurable data, qualitative reasoning examines deeper meanings patterns and subjective experiences. For example, a company analysing customer feedback might use quantitative reasoning to calculate satisfaction ratings and qualitative reasoning to understand written comments and emotions behind the feedback. Another key difference is that quantitative reasoning is more structured and objective, while qualitative reasoning is more flexible and open to interpretation. Both approaches are valuable and combining them often leads to a more comprehensive understanding of complex issues.